Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 as Hungary in the Gathering Storm expansion. So over here in Tata, um, what the hell do we build here? I think we just might go for a bank just to get that little bit of extra gold. I think that's all we really need from there. We have the military academy in here and we can in fact start to build uh, some big old strong units. You know what, just for fun, let's build a ranger army in here. It'll take 28 turns, but that's fine. Uh, we will go ahead and grab ourselves a military academy over here and a military academy over here. <clears throat> we want as many of them as we can get. We want these two guys to meet up, so let's start moving them in the right direction. And the reason we want these guys to meet up as soon as possible is to reduce my oil uh, consumption. And that's also why I really, 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 really want to get the industrialization tax so that I can switch the power plant over here away from oil power. Because I need to be uh, conserving my oil. In fact... It might even be worth it to cancel this artillery core. I might need to delete some coal consuming units or just look for more um, oil. Really, I'm having a hard time finding any. It's a bit over here in Hattusa, but you know, it's not improved. So I'm not really sure what I should do about that. There's a core here. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to upgrade this, although I could send it back to this artillery corps that's finishing and then upgrade them and then combine them together. I think that might not be a bad move. Uh, I have a artillery here. Okay. Supply convoy. Let's get you combined with this guy and then you'll become a supply convoy and then link together into a triangle of units. Um, I definitely want more supply convoys for these artillery to get them moving and being able to attack more often. Well, that's probably not a useful exp Damn it, I misclicked. <laughs> I mean, I'll take the blame for that one. Uh, let's trade with Laventa for the extra envoy. You head up this way. Builder charge. I don't see any more oil throughout my empire, which is, you know, kind of sad. I'd hope the desert would have had some. There's some oil here. Can't activate it. There's oil there. I can't activate it. There's oil here that I already have. And it just kind of sucks that I don't have a whole lot of oil. Plus five faith. All right, let's do it. Turn that into units over time. Um, I guess it's time to improve these mountain tiles. So we'll take some hits, but it's okay. Uh, Don Quixote? No, thank you. I think one of the first time I ever heard like Don Quixote ever referenced, I think it was like an American TV show, and I thought they were literally saying like Donkey Odie, and I was like, what is so special about this donkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I feel kind of dumb now looking back on that one. Um, you were supposed to become a siege tower and then you're going to kill there. Okay, nice. So this gives me plus one movement on this arty, which means I can move forward and do a bit of extra damage. Get you moved up. So we are going to start doing damage to Eridu here. Um, let's get these supply convoys linked up. Oh, let's unlink those. So you should be able to cross the river and then shoot. Okay, just doing a bit of pillaging. Uh, we have an arena over here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Thermal Bath. Then Military Academy in here. Escape on foot. Killed in the Hattusa. Oh, well. Rip. Rest in peace, old buddy, old pal. Old buddy, old pal. Uh, 
And let's get you moving. And you're coming back up to meet up with this uh, new artillery corps as well. So if I cut out the power, I'll be in okay shape. And if I get if I get these units combined, it'll start to be looking okay as well. Um, let's go ahead and take the emplacement promotion. I really want a promotion on you. Uh, all right, but we're starting to do damage. I don't think we really have units that matter available to us anymore. You head over to Kaiseri. Let's do a mine there. Slap a farm down. And then, uh... Run over there. Right, we got our first, uh, ranger. I'm gonna get you to just park here and wait for the next ranger. I don't want to move these guys out until they're a full army. Refuse deal. Refuse. Diale. Dial. Refuse Dial. Okay, got it. Go, go odd BA. Bagain Votang. Okay. Aid request, pound maker. I'll vote yes, even though I don't plan to do anything with it. There's a gentle eruption. God, every time I see a volcano, I want to make a sex joke. Contain yourself, potato. Just like the volcanoes couldn't contain themselves. Ew. Uh, right. Pop here. Pop here. I'm gonna take the promotion first. So we do have insufficient oil still, but it's not so bad. We are doing damage. May as well farm experience on these guys. And, okay, we got the artillery over here. I don't think I can afford any more oil using units, so if I'm going to produce anything, it should be either districts or non-oil producing units. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the workshop in there. Uh, in here, we got another hazard. Let's just get you to park there while we... Actually, it's time to grab an encampment in here, I think. Got another builder, lumber mill there. Uh, so you could actually get a harbor here for a lot of gold. Why not do that? You fortify, you fortify, you fortify, fortify. Uh, you need to link here to provide the extra movement. You do damage to the city. You're mainly going here. I need more units to move up this way. In fact, it might be good to get this guy moving up that way. So I have the city pretty well surrounded, basically. You're moving up this way to meet up with that other artillery. You're coming up this way. You're moving that way. Um, go ahead and repair that. Let's keep improving these tiles. Nice, 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 nice. I'm taking some hits on this rifleman, which is okay. I might even just slam him into the city. He wants to do a joint war on Alexander. I'm not quite ready for an old joint war. Oh, there's a mega colossal. That's over in... Um, Near that Turkish city, if I recall correctly. There is natural. So we can place forests now, which is useful. I can't remember what I wanted this for. I wanted it for the resource management. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of professional army and I'm going to slap in resource management because I need that extra oil. Soon we'll have industrialization. Um... Let's go ahead and start hitting these cities. Ideally, I would have three artillery hitting each city. What was that? I clicked here. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Listen. Watch this, guys. Right? No, 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 no. Because I got... I, I, I complained about this before, and I got told in the comments that I'm wrong. I'm not wrong, okay? Let me explain to you. I'm going to explain exactly what went wrong here. Right? Just give me a moment. I'm pretty mad. 
I like because this has started happening, and this used to not happen to me, but this has started happening a lot in Gathering Storm, and it's really, really starting to piss me off. Um, it's, it's it's genuinely taking away from my enjoyment of the game, genuinely, and it's pissing me off. It's really pissing me off. Matthias, your feet at arms are matched only by the depth of your knowledge. Let your mighty black army serve as your strong hand on the battlefield. All right, let's go. So here's what happened. I clicked on this unit. All right, let me show you exactly what happened here. I clicked on this unit. It told me I could go to this tile. It told me I can go to this tile this turn, right? That's, this is what this blue border stuff means. It means that these units can go to these tiles in this turn, right? Look, I'll show you. Right? I have this unit selected down here. This is what the blue tile, this is what the blue stuff means. The blue stuff means I'm able to get to these places this turn. But here's the problem. The problem is that the actual Pathfinder only believes that the unit has two movement. Look, right? Look, one, two. Like, the Pathfinder, when it's trying to Pathfind to a position, it's making the assumption that the unit only has its base movement speed. Even though I could very easily make it all the way to this tile, this turn, the game believes I can't. And it's it's a Pathfinding issue, because I could make it, I can make it, like, look at this. What is this? I can make it to this tile, and then boom, 14 turns. Why? Why? What is it that's special here? Like... Something is up with the Pathfinder. Some, this isn't right. So what I have to do is now I, like, I have to move a unit. Like, moving the unit somehow fixed it. That makes no sense. So, to the people who told me I'm wrong, I'm not wrong. Okay? There is something fucky with the Pathfinder. The problem is that, the problem is, 99% of the comments that I get are people who don't understand what I'm talking about and then tell me I'm wrong. That's, that's my problem with YouTube comments and, and Twitch chat, is they say stuff like, no, you've no idea what you're talking about, when they have no idea what I'm talking about. And that's why I call my YouTube and Twitch audience idiots all the time. Because they say things like, you're wrong, but then when I explain it, they're like, oh yeah, you're right. And I'm like, you're an idiot. You just didn't understand what I was talking about. You told me I'm wrong. It's like, ask the question. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, right, that's enough ranting. All right. It's very frustrating. Very, 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 very... I like, just remember, like, I play this game, like, I play this game a decent amount. So I live with these problems. Like, these problems are almost always present for me. All right, there's Philadelphia. Now, uh, Victor is sitting back pretty far at this point, but I still think he's providing good benefits, so I'm going to look for someone like Reyna is the one to move. Now, someone also said to me that this um, plus four loyalty, it doesn't, like, for some reason, this plus four loyalty counts as this plus eight loyalty. So if you have a city that's affected by Garrison Commander, and by a cardinal, you still only get plus, or 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 by a um by a governor, you still only get plus eight, which is really wrong in my opinion, and it shouldn't work that way if that's how it works. Because if I look down here, I can see in Philadelphia, it's going from zero to plus three when it should be going from zero to plus eight, right? That's how that's how that mechanic works. But for some reason, um, nearby Castellan governor is giving me four. And then if I plug in Reyna... So it is... So it looks like it might just be a visual effect. Wait, why is it falling minus 9.5 here? It told me that I was gonna be... Like, fixing the loyalty in here. That's another problem with the loyalty system. This screen doesn't update. I very clearly have positive loyalty here. Whatever. 
Now it is. Now it's plus 14. So, like, yeah, I'm very confused about that because the two are separate effects. But somebody was telling me that the visual... It, but they're not separate effects. But they're very obviously separate effects. Um, so I don't know why it's telling me that it's minus... Only, it's only adding four loyalty when I put a new governor in the city. It just doesn't make sense. There's a lot of, like... I'm not, like... It's, it is part of my job, I, you know, I'm playing YouTube, you know, doing YouTube stuff is, you know, tech fucking my job now. So, I mean, I do have to complain about the things that I'm doing because, um, it's like you, you guys don't play this, like I play this game essentially every single day, right? So you got to understand that I live with the problems more than, say, someone who doesn't play it every day. So I'm, I'm going to experience those problems more often. And they're going to be feeling much more relevant to me. And so you might just swing in and drop in on an episode and be like, oh, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna watch Potato play some Civ. And then you're like, oh, my God, why is he complaining all the time? It's because I live with these problems. I, it's, it's constantly a part of my day that I have to deal with these problems, right? And so complaining it, but like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do if the coffee machine is broken at your, at your job? You complain about it because you want coffee. What do I do when the game is broken? I complain about it because I want a non-broken game. <laughs> okay, it's that simple. Don't come at me being like, you complain too much. If you tell me that I complain too much, go fuck yourself. That's my opinion, YouTube, okay? Maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but still. The point stands. Run away. Military Academy, uh, Shipyard, Military Academy, Library, Heal. I should have shot that, um, Rough Rider over here. Tough rider. God damn, what did I just pillage? They gave me 600 gold. Commercial hub. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and repair that for me. Improve that. Uh, right. Listen. You guys, you guys have every right to say what you want to me in the comments, okay? But don't, don't be surprised. If I call you fucking idiots, okay? Because <laughs> that's just how I feel sometimes. <laughs> Listen, you guys say some really dumb shit sometimes, okay? Sometimes you deserve it. Um, not all the time. Not all the time. Sometimes you guys say stuff that's really important and really relevant. But a lot of the time, people in the comments, they say some dumb shit. Listen, I have a very hard time not telling someone they're being an idiot if they're being an idiot. It's in my blood. Okay, we can get rid of this power station. Convert the coal, get rid of that. Uh, we took a decent chunk of damage over here. There's no escape. Sorry, there is an escape for you. Again, again, again. Okay, let's talk about this problem. Because it's exceptionally frustrating. Because the way I have programmed... The way I have been programmed to play the game is that anything inside of the blue lines, I can click on with my unit and they will get there. Okay? That is no longer the case. It's incredibly frustrating. But I want to show this again, because this really annoyed me. The people told me I'm not that like I'm I'm full of shit and that I did I I don't know what I'm talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about here. Don't challenge me unless you know what you're talking about. All right, listen. I have this unit. 
that is low on health. The game is telling me that everywhere inside this blue area I can get to. Okay. Why can't I get to these tiles this turn? Why is the game lying to me? Okay. I can get to these tiles if I go here and here, right? Not a problem. So why, do they, why does it tell me? Like, why does the game tell me information that isn't true? Explain it. Okay, we need to kill these units as a priority. Pillage. And run. Do some damage. Do some damage. You should survive if he attacks you. He's got machine guns now. John McClane is occupying that city. Ho, ho, ho. Now I've got a machine gun, etc. Great movie, by the way. Always will be. Always has been. A great set of movies. Uh, choose and tech. I'd like some airplanes, pretty please. Uh, we've got a field cannon over here. Let's bring that up to this city. We... So gonna... We have Holy Sight, da 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 da, -da. Um, Entertainment Complex is a no-brainer for me here. I don't know why this tile has yields again. It's very confusing to me. Um... Units. Let's see. Supply convoys might not be terrible. It might be good to pick up some more field cannons. I think I'm not going to levy any more troops, so I'm going to need replacement troops in the form of musketman army. So let's get to work on some of those. You just wait there. That's fine. Uh, you heal up. You're actually going to die if you stay there. Like, this is another weird one. The game is telling me that I can get here in one turn. But clearly the unit can't move. Oh, no, man. It's just like... I just want the game to tell me the truth about the things that I can and cannot do. I'm not asking for, like, a huge... <laughs> it's, it's like, it's not a big ask. Just tell the truth to me. Show me what is factual. Show me what is real. Real. Um... Yeah, man, it's just, you know, listen, I understand. I understand why people want to tell me I'm wrong, okay? Because sometimes when you're, watching it, when you're watching the Let's Play, sometimes you have this piece of knowledge that I missed, like I, maybe I didn't pillage a trade route, or I missed an easily capturable builder, something like that. So you feel like you have this piece of knowledge that I should have acted upon, that I should have had, right? I, I get that. But sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't matter, okay? So it's like it's just sometimes it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It doesn't matter that I didn't, like, it doesn't matter that I didn't pillage a trade route. It doesn't matter that I can't, didn't capture the builder. Oh, come on now. The only thing that matters is that we win. All right, um, pillage for the heal. Keep smashing Washington. Kill that. Heal up, heal up. Got a bit of a war on our hands now. Sometimes it just doesn't matter, guys. Just, just let it go, just let it go, okay? Just let it go. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that I missed a, a pillage. It doesn't matter that the game is buggy and weird. All that matters is we're having a good time. We're playing Civ. All right, let's put a mine down here. Um, the hell do I want to? You know what? Holy sight! A little bit of extra faith means I can purchase units. Speaking of which, I really need a field cannon up here, and here it is to combine with these guys. 
the, the the levied units i really don't like the whole levied units mechanic i i probably will never ever play hungry again all in all honesty um unless i have a particularly like the only time i would play hungry is if i'm looking for an early game swordsman cheese like that's really it i feel like the 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 play style so far that i've experienced really isn't that enjoyable with these like huge armies of spammy city state units that you can't upgrade into a proper army the way that i would normally do i just you know it just feels like a um not a strategy that appeals to me uh in particular at the moment i'm just not really a domination kind of player that's just, it's gotta you know being totally honest i'm just not a domination player i don't play i don't really like enjoy domination i don't like optimizing for domination um i don't think the domination quote-unquote puzzle is very interesting to solve I, I i just i'm more of a like tourism kind of guy you know what i mean if you can walk away from we can make airplanes now though which is exciting. That's not what I clicked. I could have sworn I told you to attack the city. Yo, we've got Eridu. Uh, I'm going to move Victor now. To Eridu. There we go. Got that loyalty locked in. Keep the city. So Kish should, in theory, have more loyalty to me now. Um, we gotta take Washington this turn. Uh, we're gonna move Magnus, reassign him up here to Washington. We got his capital. Uh, question is, do we want to keep rolling through? We gotta take out Sum Mechria. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. All right, there's Sipar. We could definitely take that city next. Um, that gets us up towards Sumeria. Um, I think Sumeria's capital is like right here. Um, that's hard to tell though. I'm gonna choose my research. Uh, replaceable parts would be pretty decent to pick up. Problem is infantry consumes oil. They're not that strong. I would much rather, honestly, just go ahead and see if I could get the rocket artillery a little quicker. So that I could just decimate these cities with rocket artillery. Ugh, good stretch. Alternatively, um... I could get fighters and bombers. Uh, I'll unlock aluminum to see if it's worth it to go down that route. Although they use oil, don't they? No, they use aluminum. Okay, that's good. Don't care about that. Uh, don't care about that great engineer. Don't need a factory. Oh, this is a pretty good coal power plant. Let's do it. Military academy over here. Entertainment complex. Uh, right there. Need some amenities to keep my empire happier. My army is fine in terms of size right now. So mainly I'm looking for like amenities and stuff like that. I need like empire infrastructure to keep my shit happy. Which sounds kind of gross, but it is what it is. So apparently... That card never got put in. I thought I had. Does this only count if it's actually improved? Because most of mine are like settled on. Or have districts on them as far as I remember. There's like one that I actually built a thing. Whatever. Just do farms. Alright. We've got a big old cannon. I didn't mean to have the supply convoy selected. Do some damage to the city. Alright. We learned a bit about that city. Let's get you up here. I want to get incendiaries. Although the double attack would have been good. 
Might have been better. Almost certainly would have been better, because then I could get double experience per turn. <sighs> right. Do some repairs, do some repairs. I know I did a lot of ranting this video. It's whatever, man. Listen. Oh no! I didn't mean to click yes. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta wait a while now before I can declare war on Sumeria. Crap. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Listen. Why can't I shoot over? Is this on a hill? See, right there, the thing was functioning as intended. Look, I'll, even, I'll, I'll, I'll even plunder that trade route for the people in chat who complain when I don't plunder things. I say chat when it's, you know... You guys know what I mean, alright? Um... Entertainment complex would be nice. Right there. Right there. Need the amenities. We're running low. We're running low on amenities. I've got no amenities left. Ak and I. We've got no amenities. Uh, armory in here. Then you completed the tank. This tank was coming up this way because it wants to meet up with this tank. Who will then combine together into a super unit. Super. Uh, then... You were going to produce some... Go ahead and queue me up three rangers, I guess. That could be fun to play around with. Um, granary in here. Let's go ahead and repair the stuff. It's better to repair than to, re than to build. We'll shoot there. Where's my other artillery? We're going to get you up closer to the city, to here. Again, look, like, sometimes these things work just fine. Like, the obvious assumption is that I can only walk inside of the blue borders, but very often nowadays is that that rule just is not true, and the, the game is, you know, not telling me the truth about what I can and can't do, and that becomes very frustrating as a player. Um, you're too weak. Why don't you combine with this guy? Um... Just keep shooting there for a little bit of paltry experience. I've got another tank core. I kind of regret building this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Another builder in here. Keep heading this way. Get your ass over here. Alright, we're taking a bit of damage. Let's try and get through this next turn really, really quickly. I've got an idea. Alright. So there's the War Weariness one, I think. Total War we can get rid of and put in the War Weariness one. It is propaganda. And uh, resource management, is that really that important right now? Yeah, it's pretty important. I also need to keep an eye out for plastic so I can get offshore oil rigs. That's going to be... I got the hiccups there. That's going to be important. Um, let's go ahead and hammer this city. I'm going to take this combat bonus. Expert crew helps... Basically it. Get the arena in here. Go ahead and get the military academy. I don't need the coal power plant. Um, why don't you go ahead and just for fun, build me another ranger army. Actually, you can do something. Yeah, ranger armies, why not? They're fast, they're fun, and they're furious. It sounds like an advertisement for like... Let's not talk about that, whatever that, oh, that next sentence was I was going to say. Hey, look, let's build a field cannon. <laughs> uh, I've got a bunch of gold, or, or faith, rather. What do I need to take out? Sip bar? Uh, I guess I could use a tank army. Nope. You know what? It's going to be an artillery army. 
Uh, repair. Wait there. Shoot. Get over there. So I think we've done all the useful moves this turn, so I'll just shift enter. Hopefully take New Orleans next turn. Mm -hmm. The weather. I was gonna try and sing the the song, but then I yawned. I'd <laughs> like the same moment. Uh, there was a house in New Orleans, blah blah blah. They play the Golden Sun. That one. You all you all know the one that like people on bad um talent shows just like warble out as loud as they possibly can. There's always like that moment in those fucking singing shows where it's like, oh there's no way he's gonna hit the note on this song. Which is like, you know, and the stereotypical song they use is the um whatever that song is called. The Land of the Rising Sun or the House of the Rising Sun or whatever it's called. God, I, I have that on my playlist and I can't remember what it's called. And then like the the up and coming singer comes out and is like Mama Like as loud as they can with no technique and then everyone is like <gasps> Oh my god, they're so loud. Anyway, all right, I love you all very much. I want to thank you guys very much for watching me play Civilization Six. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.